What's going on, Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. We're in Grand Arena. Let's do Jedi Master Kenobi. How to mod the squad to take out Jabba. So at my level in Kyber 3, Jabba is always on defense. We are always under man. If you're like me, coming up through the rankings, we don't have enough Galactic Legends. So opponents always put Jabba on defense. So to me, Jedi Master Kenobi is one of the easiest counters for it. We're just gonna go through some quick modding. So first off, first person I look at is always Boosh, Leia. Let's take a look. Good speed, 344. That's like exactly where they're at. Potency's not too bad at all. Damage wise, she does special damage. Almost 10,000 damage. Leia has got to go. She is a pain. So looking at, and then Kirsten. So this guy has his team modded very well. Perfect. This is gonna be a thick, annoying Kirsten. So to me, R7 Kirsten, where you should have him at R8, R9 even. If you can't get through Kirsten, it basically just guarantees Jabba is going to be able to get to ultimate. Health protection, pretty nasty. That's all I care about. Survivability, ooh, that just means you gotta have Datacrons, good Datacrons. So that to me is all I look at. Yes, R8 Boba Fett's nasty, R8 Lando is pretty nasty. Uh, Job was only R7. Speed and health, 531 speed, health protection. He does special damage, 11,000. Pretty typical Jabba team you'll see. Good job for my opponent for having them R7, R7, R8, R9. Cursing would be a pain. All right, quick modding on them. So of course, Jedi Master Kenobi. You know, you want health, four speed, two health. Lots of health, no less than what I have. Speed, no less than what I have. Damage is what plays into effect. You need lots of damage. On Jedi Master Kenobi and Cat, should Kenobi, no less than R8 by the time you get to Kyber 4, Kyber 3. Ahsoka should be R7, even R8 nowadays because of nasty Java squads. Lots of health, lots of speed, lots of damage. She is the damage dealer. All right, and then to me, I have Shock T. Padme is with Gidme. So Shock T is at 313, 86,000 hell. She's just there to put up offense up. You know, you gotta have a thick General Kenobi. You know, he's gonna take all the hits. Four health, two defense. I'm not gonna move mods around. He's pretty good. Defense, 70%. He's gonna take all the hits. All right, because of Kirsten R7, I put a good Datacron. Yeah, I could do it, with, probably could do it without the Datacron. But with him being so thick, you want to get through them quickly. You know, you don't want to try to lose any banners by Java getting ultimate. So I want armor penetration. I want our uh, offense. Don't really care about the light side alleys are damaged by a percent health damage effects. They recover 2% health. Don't really care about that. It's more for the side stats. All right. Let's try to get into the battle. Let's see what we can do. Quick little modding show. Like I said, you can't be putting Jedi Master Kenobi on defense anymore in Kyber. You've got to have him for offense. All right, so of course, you want to drop Kirsten very quickly. Yeah, Boosh will go to work. All right, drop Kirsten, and then it's full ham on Boosh. She has got to go. So this is for offense up. Ooh, Boosh is just nasty. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm Kenobi. Don't want to pass it off just because you, you got to try to get into ultimate quickly. You've got to get through them so quickly. All right, let's just try to get her down. One big hit. Nice. Oh, you, you can't call to assist until Boosh is gone. Ah, that was a mistake. Should have cleansed. See, she is just so deadly. So that's why a super, if you have Jabba, you should have Boosh. R8, R9, same thing with Kirsten. 
All right, so Lando's got to go. Get this to Jedi Master Kenobi. You got to get through these tunes very quickly. All right, got need, you got to get into ultimate quick as possible. If you guys are beating Jabba with anything other than Jedi Master Kenobi, you know, a non-GL team, definitely comment below. All right, get into ultimate. We've got to get through these tunes quick. I need another uh, Jedi girl tank. That we can have uh, Jedi Master Kenobi and the girls. <laughs> all right, all right. You know, double revive Boba. All right, let's go ahead and just drop him quickly. Okay. All right, do we replenish anyone? I can replenish. I don't need to. Let's just keep going. All right. This is where having a super thick cursing could be super annoying. Give that over to Cat. Because then he guarantees Jabba gets into ultimate and you can just lose some banners. Mm, look at Jabba doing his thing. Having a super fast Jabba would be super helpful as well if you had Jabba Squad. Come on, guys. Let's just keep going. Offense up. See, look at Kirsten. Look at him. Look at him. Jabba. Just building. All right. Do I want to, I want to cleanse? I don't want to lose Ahsoka. I don't know. I shouldn't even done that, but. Okay, come on. Okay, Kirsten's done. All right. Big hit on Jabba. Nice, nice. See, having damage. Datacron, look at the Java. It just he's gonna just gonna strip a banner. Okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah, over to uh, Jerry Master Kenobi. All right, so there you go. Definitely great banners. It's an easy counter if you just have your you know when you get to Kyber. Your Jedi Master Kenobi squad should be just proper relic, really good mods, no less than what I have. Um, you shouldn't put Padme with Jedi Master Kenobi just because you need so many squads in Kyber. Padme truly should lead Gidme. Gidme or uh, Moff Gideon should not be with Imperial Troopers. Moff Gideon should be with your Padme squad. Catch up. Another show I'm going to have coming up. I'm going to use pa uh, Gidme. Pad may lead with Moff Gideon to take out his Inquisitors on defense, which you'll always see as well. If you guys enjoyed the show, definitely blast the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Always respect the grind. Until next time, Darth Kimchi signing out.